Hello humans and otherwise, I'm Adicia and welcome back to my blind let's play of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. We're right next to Rito Village and we've been told to drop a pine cone in this and it will really kick up the fire. Wow, yes. They... <laughs> she was not joking. Rito Village. Oh, you can jump on it repeatedly, huh? Oh, it is cracked ice, I suppose. Yeah, it, it seems like it's colder than it wa used to be here. This area wasn't so covered in snow originally. Like I said, the sun's not coming out. Or is it a fine beast anyway? chest in here. Couldn't really see. Well, I'll take that. Yeah, this place was not covered in snow originally. The Rito must not be very happy right now. It kind of reminded me of uh, how Zora's domain is frozen over an Ocarina of Time. On the adult timeline, anyway. I'm not seeing a shrine here to make an easy teleport. But there is a goddess statue. First off, a heart container. And let's get one stamina vessel. And there's some retail right behind us. Now we can do things a bit better. Oh. Looks like probably a shrine right there. It should be the end, I guess. Hey! Hey, right, a customer! Welcome to the Slippery Falcon General Store! Thanks for stopping by in spite of the weather. Oh. What can I do for you, mister? Hi. Well, yeah, let's sell some stuff. Could use some rupees. Yep, yeah, give me... Uh -huh. Let me sell that topaz. Sell the sapphire as well. And the ruby. Uh -huh. Just sold my Pokemon. Sorry, our shelves are kind of empty. Still, all the heavy snowstorms. Oh. There's a caves along the road. Yeah, but I'm not really oil jars, huh? I'm not really looking for that kind of stuff. Looking for like the armor shop. Yeah, this right here. Yeah, but of course it's like stupid expensive. Hold off on that a bit, maybe. Beep. 
Shrine, most important thing. Now, what do we have? Ride the winds. Another one of these, huh? Start off with just a pit. Probably the force you to glide. Thought you'd be blown away by the wind. Yeah, it's a giant fan here. Oh! Okay. Lasers. Whee! Wasn't much of a puzzle solution there, game. You didn't need to do the. You found a secret jingle. else here doesn't seem like it just burn Ooh, strong construct bow Away with you, Traveler's Bow. What else might be here? Hey! On top of it. Am I seeing anything else in terms of treasures? Uh, that's four, just like I wanted it. find out where Hestu is. But yeah, we were told to come here. This is one of the four areas for the story, too. I'm actually looking for that yet. Yeah, I hear that music. I hear Dragon Roost Island music. Which makes sense. Trying it. There. 
I keep saying shrine, but it's a statue. Technically a goddess shrine, I suppose. Heart container. Hearts are the priority. Gotta be able to find the master sword later. I don't even know uh, how long the main story of this is going to be. It might be a lot longer than just going to the four areas like before. I was like, go to the four areas and then you're done. Pretty much. Might not be like that this time. Don't know. But, where the heck is Hestu? Well, we do have to go to Stables. Could always try to visit uh, the Lost Woods. Well, you should get a tower. Got six hearts now. Oh. Careful, that partner. You wouldn't scare all the birds away. You go strumming around like that, and it won't be birds just send flying for the hills. It's fine, though. I did hear some interesting chirps and warbles from them. Mm. Don't want to say this too loud to sort of panic, but there was a spreading about Princess Zelda that she's been seen riding some mysterious beasts. It's said to be a mountain of a beast, too, one of huge, brutal tusks. A little reporter has never seen something so frightening. Of course, what made it far worse is that it seemed that like the princess herself was controlling this terrifying creature. Almost sounds like she's controlling Ganon. Mm. It's hard to believe a beast like that could really be lurking in Hyrule. This terrifying monster exists, and the implications make this a very, very huge story. We're guests at this stable talking about the rumored beast. The bird inform us told me there have been a number of sightings in the subtropical region in the south. A lot of them more, we should dive big first into this stable and see if there's any truth to those rumors. We need to back away at this until we figure out if it's an enticing truth or an elaborate fiction. Uh. <sighs> Legend of Robin, you say? Anya, get that a little more thought. Things that's legendary in a title are usually just stories. There's simply no way it exists. Mm -hmm. That rumored beast you're after. That's what's just a story. Hmm. No, no. Go to any stable in Hyrule and you find people excited about the rumored beast. Stables are places where information gathers. If it weren't true, you wouldn't hear about it at so many stables. Just because it's popular doesn't mean it's true. Oh. Even if I grant you that, we don't stand to gain anything by finding this rumored beast. A legendary weapon, on the other hand, bound to be strong indeed. We have nothing to fear of monsters. What if this weapon is legendary, legendarily brittle and useless, huh? Start visiting stables to gather information and track down that rumored beast. I and mean, that is kind of the point here, anyway. That stable's done. Start by visiting the stables that have already been marked on the map. That way, we've already got them all covered. Korok, need to help you. Ow. Hey, partner, you here to investigate the rumors too? I've been hearing some interesting chirps and warbles. Ah. Oh, you're also a reporter? Loud vehicles. I just had a bit of a strange experience, is all. 
You see, I was minding a breed near the three-way intersection up ahead when a woman came up to me. Please, please, you have to help her. Her life is in danger. It will make it worse to reveal who she is. Please, you must save her. That's what she said to me. The woman said was really desperate, so I decided to follow her. No matter how hard I tried, I couldn't keep up. Eventually, I lost track of her. That's all there is to it. Ah. Hey, partner. Does something strike you as odd about this person whose identity can't be revealed? Mm. And if revealing who she is to strangers is dangerous, could she be someone of great importance? And if her life is already in danger? Combining these facts makes me wonder if this is a, actually a particular important person who has gone missing. To be sure, of course, but there's a slight chance. Yeah, I'll have to peck away at this news to see what the truth is. Mm. Now that I'm thinking about the whole thing again, why was that woman staring so hard at my hair? How strange. And it was also weird the whole time about how a Beetle was just frozen in place. This must be the person. <laughs> oh no, my poor friend! Please, you must save her! Uh -huh. Blonde hair? Uh. I do not know who you are, but I ask that you please help me! My poor regal friend's life is in danger. I cannot reveal who she is, and that will only make things worse. She's hiding and unable to move. My friend is in such danger. Please, I cannot help her all by myself! Oh, thank you so much. My friend is in hiding right now. It's the only way for her to remain undetected by those with ill intent. Uh -huh. go to where my friend is, but be careful not to be seen. No, we do not want evil to, to draw evil to her. Uh -huh. I'm you down this road. Meet me as soon as you can. Don't be seen, huh? Actually, having arrow issues now. I'm using so many of them. Oh, a black one. That's not good. I'm gonna throw it. We got fairies. Still. Apples, 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 apples. Go away. Barracuda wing! And all those black ones, of course. Uh. 
My apologies for leaving you behind. I was overtaken by my concern for my friend. She is resting safely out of sight. It is the only way to stay safe. Sorry that the path is so poor. It seems like it's a trap. Could you possibly go to the top of that cliff? We can meet right where you see the fallen debris. Oh, it's pretty high up. The extra stamina should help. The good weapons are all broken. Certainly could use more space, but I don't know where our to is. A figure I should have encountered him by now. Hi, Korok. Yeah. yeah, back to the Coliseum, I already figured that. So I deal with that Gleok Vatimir. This really seems like it's a trap. Cannot kill a Gleok right now. Too early in the game for that. Store stamina all the way. must be him, then. Oh, I am so rude. You have my apologies. Come now, my friend is waiting ahead. Uh -huh. She's waiting nearby, or on the debris on the opposite cliff. I'll go on ahead and let her know that you are coming. <laughs> but far off, but I know you will be able to make it. Yeah, this is incredibly suspicious. I don't trust this at all. What is that? Yeah, one of those dragons. Giant bell? Hmm. Hey, a shrine. We can visit there after this. Great Plateau! <laughs> Is it serious to the Great Plateau? Yeah, really should have recognized that actually. Ass suckers. But well, they gotta have a little challenge to it, right? Yeah. Quite lots of seeds. Yeah. I should have realized this is the Great Plateau. 
And we're back in the right area. Uh oh. Uh, ran away instead of charging? Okay. Uh. Sorry for all of that. It was important for me to test you. Blonde hair, courage to overcome a challenge, and then another challenge, and then another. Oh, and your disgusting, unwavering commitment to do good. You're Prince Zelda's chosen bodyguard, the Swordsman Link, correct? And are you part of the, uh... I forget what they're called. The Sheikah that, uh... uh, uh yeah, the Sheikah that are helping Ganon. I forget what they're called now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad to finally meet you. Now I can take you to the last stop in our little journey. <laughs> Your grave! Yep! Yeah, it is! <laughs> I forget what they're called, but it is them. Okay. So this seems awfully suspicious. Yiga Clan! That's what it is. Sure, you got fairies. Not too good on weapons now, though. Plenty of food, though. Plenty of dubious food. <laughs> uh, weapons are my issue here. How many fairies do I have, anyway? Two more. They're trying to escape. Let you off this time. Don't expect such mercy next time. Prepare yourself. Hi. Hey, hey, partner. Well? This is where your investigation took you. Looks like you really got yourself out, out on a limb there. I'm scouting from the sky, I'm trying to get to the bottom of this story. I heard that woman is luring people away. I thought I heard her voice, so I swooped on down and hey, here you are. Tell me, what have you on Earth? I see. Who could have guessed that this whole story would be an elaborate trap set up by the Yuga clan? You didn't know. There were a group of, a group of assassins trying to bring down the kingdom of Hyrule. I heard they were good at disguising themselves, but playing the part of a villager? That's kind of the thing. Never would have guessed. I want to flush out the swordsman who protects the princess. Oh. They thought you, a young and up-and-coming reporter who just happens to have blonde hair, they believe you are actually that swordsman? That's just bad luck for you. You've definitely got some skills, though, if you can see it from the Yiga clan. I'm proud of you, partner. Glad I don't have to write a headline like, Junior Reporter Falls to the Cruel Blade of Yiga in Pursuit of Truth. Mm -hmm. That's right. This is your first job, wasn't it? 
Partner, you did quite well to get such results your first time out. Well, I am feeling a little proud myself. Here's a start to an old nest egg. Ah. Taking more storage, your base pay will obviously increase. And there are bonuses, of course. You up the good work. It's time I took off and turned the unusual details into an article. Sorlog! <laughs> okay, that was a pain. Got a couple of nice weapons, though. Power up those swords. Don't need th this anymore. And now being that we are on the Great Plateau, we're going to explore the Great Plateau. Too bad it's raining. Now someone's dog is barking, sounds like. It's not getting picked up on my microphone, thankfully. All right, check this stuff out. Nope, can't. It's raining. Can't do anything. It's raining. Don't have that froggy suit yet, because, well, got to do more of the other stuff. But right now, it's raining. Because, of course, you got to get completely screwed over by the rain. That's completely blocked off. Plenty of boar around, that's for sure. Go away, rain! I can see it's gonna stop soon, at least. Keys didn't seem to care about the shield. The fire. And right, now I can properly look around. No more rain. Ah, there's a Temple of Time. The one we're familiar with anyway. What was that? Yeah, choo-choo. That's what it sounded like. Hi there, dragon! You're pretty close now. Ah, yes, very familiar location. Torch is there, too. We gotta come back here and visit this place. We have to. Bloopy! Bloopy, give me the rupee. Ooh, purple one. Yep. Had to visit the Shrine of Resurrection. 
A little frog here too. They're frequently in these crates. I create the axe is badly damaged too. Yeah, where'd all the Sheikah technology go? Oh, it's a, it's a healing, it's a hot spring. It's a healing spring. I, yeah, I'll take that. Yeah, where'd all the Sheikah stuff go? Go. Uh -huh. Mighty bananas. You see the Yiga clan are here. Danger, yeah. Believe me, I know. You get ambush. Hehe, <laughs> <laughs> the noble swordsman scrunching for scraps. You fell for the oldest trick in the book. No, I knew you were coming. You stumbled into a secret storehouse for treasures from the depths. And now that you've seen it, I can't let you live. Your life ends today. <laughs> Ah, I wanted to cook him. So, what? Authorizer verified. Thank you for driving away the intruders. Those interlopers carried me here with them from the depths. I have no way of returning to where I, where, where I was stationed there. Therefore, I will continue my work here. The test in the depths was to manage schema stones. A great deal of zoonite was mined and processed there once. I have something for you, but I do not think you are ready to receive it. Please visit the great abandoned central mine in the depths and return here after. Oh, okay. So... I gotta go to the depths again for this quest anyway. Well, this thing is about to shatter anyway. Just gonna keep using these because I got a bunch of them to upgrade these weapons. Well, yeah, let's... Last location. I actually did end up running into a mine. I went and tried to find uh, the stuff that I did originally before I had to restart. I didn't find that area. I'm gonna imagine Hestu would be down here. That would be weird. Of course, I could have just uh, watched the video and gone that way, but I decided, nah, I'm not gonna do that.
Yeah, there's a dog that won't shut up and a person that keeps now yelling at the dog. Gonna shut up, I guess. Busting through all this, but it doesn't seem to be a lot of actual zoanite. I mean, there's some, but... Large zoanites! Well, there goes that. Unfortunately, you need another rock hammer. Don't have one. All right, where's the light? Not the giant ones. Definitely really need to get another rock weapon. Can't really do much without it at this point. We need to find another uh, warp point, another one of those trees. dark down here. And I get that's the point. But I don't have to like it. No! Just wanted to climb up, darn it. Pose over here. Yeah, for the new bargain or statue. I know where one of those is. I was gonna look at that, but didn't have any pose. Couldn't find them this time. Weird. 
Giant's Grove. I'm just using my bow, I don't care. Seeing any trees available? Huh? There's some nice stuff here. I'm not exactly sure what I want to do with that. I'm interested in what the pose do, though, because I don't know what it is. Oh, great. Cursed Hinox. Well, that looks like a st stall box, really. Rust off Canyon Mine! Fortunately, there's no trees available. Need warp points. I wonder if the only uh, trees that are active are like the ones. This is right below a shrine. So maybe the tree is only active if you've actually completed the shrine. I don't know. I don't think I've really seen any of those trees anyway. Tree. Don't see any anywhere though. Stop being so dark, aren't you? Let's grab some pose. I wonder, is this, uh, under Hyrule, as big as Hyrule itself? Is that's gonna be way too darn big if that's the case. And there's actually some light over here. It's not super, super dark. And no trees. Get checkpoints and all that.
What is the point of this? It's like an alien soldier. And it's, it's gear that's not broken, though. Because the gear is all typically busted. I don't want to leave until a tree is available. I don't see one anywhere. Make sure to lift the place up. Well, why is it so much brighter over here? Oh, this is just an old area. Yeah, this is just an old area. That would be why, right there. Okay, that's fine. Should have realized that. But, one last thing. Is this time to stop? What are the pose used for? Hmm? Swordsman, are you okay over there? You look like you were somewhere else just now. Oh, I bet you're interested in that strange stone, huh? We discovered it in the depths. Looks most naturally formed and as though it's been carved into. I don't know much about it, as you can probably tell. There's still so much to learn. <laughs> so I'm done with my current investigation. I plan to start digging into it more. You who stand before me. I am one who returns posed to the afterlife where they belong. Offer pose to me. There are spirits that ought to return to the afterlife. Pose? Pose are pitiful beings that have lost their way home and wander the depths of this land. Good, evil, that's the futile perspective of narrow-minded beings. There is no such distinction in wandering spirits. We attain pose. Oh yes, this is indeed a Poe. I returned a lost spirit to the afterlife where it belongs. Since I was brought here to the service, I have been unable to return Pose to the afterlife. As of you, I can assist them once again. You should take this. A dark clump. Using gloom resistance. Okay. Dark tunic. <laughs> Spurious replica of the green outfit once worn by a legendary hero. Okay, so... Obviously... I'm gonna want the dark tunic. Okay, your brethren. And for me, ten pose, so I'll tell you the location. Okay, yeah. I acknowledge your offering. I'll tell you the location of one of my brethren in the depths of the land. Go to the location and indicate it on your map. Okay, so you could probably get a Dark Link set from this. That's certainly what it looked like. But for now, we are stopping here. So, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time! If you enjoyed my video, please give it a like. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. And if for whatever reason you want to talk to me, you can find me on Discord in a link in the description.